Hello everyone, welcome back to Retarget Common YouTube channel. I'm Amod and I'm here with another topic in this session. So earlier we have already learned to create JSON object and nested JSON object. And even we have learned to write the JSON path uh, for the nested and simple JSON objects both. So in this video, we are going to focus on JSON arrays. So whenever you see any JSON payload, it may be your request payload or response payload, you'll, you'll face only two types of things, JSON objects or JSON array or combination of both. Okay, so we have already covered JSON objects. So this time we are going to cover JSON array. So since you people will be belonging to programming backgrounds, so you must be knowing what is an array, right? So an array can be uh, a data structure. We can say an array is some, a collection of similar kind of things, okay? Just for an example, suppose if you go to any, or suppose take the cricket ball, right? So if you see that cricket ball box there, there we can keep total six balls there, right? So we can say that this that is an array, right? And every ball will be in uh, a particular shape, right? And we can pick uh, a particular particular ball from that uh, particular uh, structure, right? So similarly, an array is a collection of similar types of element. Okay, like here you can see uh, there is one array, then which which is a string array where I have stored the Amod and Mukesh names, right? So, uh, so that is actually. Uh, similar types of elements, right? But in when, when you're coming to JSON, so here the difference of little change actually, okay? So let's let's stop here and I don't want to go to difference just now. Let's uh, let's understand why we need something JSON arrays first, okay? Just for an example, suppose uh, in a school, right? In a school, there is a class, there is a class, suppose class 10, right? In class that class 10, there will be many students, right? So suppose if I say you, I need to store the details of all the, all students, okay? So before, uh, before we go and get the details of all the students, okay? So let's start with one first, right? So let me open mm -hmm, a new, uh, JSON online editor where we can create the JSON, right? So let me open this. And what I'm going to say, suppose, suppose I want to take, I want to get the detail of one student which we have taken the last time as well, right? So suppose one from from each student I want to capture some details, okay? So I'll make it some little shorter and I will. I will, I want to be simple at this here, suppose Karnataka, okay? So let, let's remove these things, okay? So we just created one structure or created uh, some fields, which I want to get the details from each and every student in that class, right? So this is the, the these are the information of one student, single student, right? But in a class, there will be obviously more than one student, one student, right? So how to store that one? So simply we can store that in, in an array, right? What you can do, suppose we have, the, these are the details of one student and suppose when we get the details of another, another student, right? So I'll get like this and maybe the student name is Rahul uh, Kumar and he is 20 and he, he uh, had this is something, uh, suppose Bihar, okay? So I got the details of two students, right? First student and second student. But I want to I want to store all the all details of all the students at single place, right? So for this, what you can do, we can use an array concept, okay? So what we need to do is simply in JSON, you need to use this one is square bracket, okay? Same thing we use in the programming language also in JavaScript and all, right? See here, what I did, let me uh, format it, okay? So see, these, this is the, uh, the, these are the details of one student and these are details of another student. So whenever 
we uh, we should see if you see this particular ppt also so we store two elements right amod and mukesh are two different elements but those two elements are separated by a separated using comma so whenever we are using this so we need to use comma here because this will be one element okay and this will be another element right so this actually json array and we will we know that in array we can get the element using the index okay because an array is the ordered an array is ordered so means uh, if we if we are keeping some value at uh, uh, particular place right so we we'll get we we'll get that value from that particular place only okay that is called index based or order based okay so here if i get if i go suppose this uh, particular this per in this particular array if i if i i want to get this one right i want to get this particular information so i need to use the index concept or in array the index is start from zero so the in this particular array this this is at zeroth index and this is at first index okay and similarly we can store as many as data we want okay here you should notice like suppose if uh, in the first student contains only these fields right but suppose second student contains uh, second student has some information about the mobile data mobile also okay so we can have another extra field here right mobile okay and maybe we can have some numbers also right so whenever you are creating any json array that doesn't mean that each element each element each element this is one element this second element should have similar kind of fields inside no that is not mandatory here you can see here we have extra field called mobile which we don't have here okay even a json array can contain anything here we can see this particular json array contains one json object another json object right it can contains a dat boolean also like this okay it can contain any uh suppose anything a, a string it can contain one integer or it can contain some uh, float or double value okay can you see so that doesn't mean that if you are storing a json object in an uh, in an array so you need to use all, every time the same elements no you can see these two are json object okay but the, this is boolean this is string this is integer and this will be put double right so in json array we can store any type of element that doesn't matter if you are storing only string then it to always use string no so that is not the correct thing okay even suppose this is also a valid json valid json array okay so what i want to do 10 20 okay so this is also valid json array okay means json array means it should contains multiple elements right that is json array it's not necessary that it should contain multiple elements it might have some zero element but it can contain different types of elements and there's no mandatory rule that it should contain similar kind of things either a string or integer uh, string integer or boolean no it can it can it may contain any type of value in it which you can see this side right i think it should it should be clear for you people now let's understand what is nested json array by the name only you can think that okay if if we have another json array inside json array okay that is called nested json array and in real time you might find there are deeply nested json arrays in fact you will find a combination of json objects in json array okay so just for an example suppose let me take this example here and uh, suppose this first guy okay this student has multiple address right if any student contains multiple address so obviously we should able to store those data correct so what you can do in instead of storing like this okay we can define an array here as well okay and i can store like this one like uh, city okay city bangalore okay 
and country India. Okay. This thing should be in double quotes always. Okay. And this guy is another address. Let me copy the same uh, structure and the, and the city in Delhi and country India. Okay, so now you should see the change here. This part in the first element, right? First element of the array contains JSON array for the address. Okay, but for the second strand, we don't have that kind of thing. It completely depends upon us. Okay, how we are storing the, storing the data. That's why JSON is much easier and more scalable to store the data. Okay, you can see that how uh, how flexible it, it is to store the data, right? This particular string contains multiple errors. Okay, no problem. This is stored in in one array, right? Second string doesn't contain any. Uh, uh, sorry, second string uh, has only one address. So we are simply return one address behind. Okay, so this is example of nested JSON array. Why? Because this is the external JSON array. Okay, external. In this, uh, we have total how many elements? Total five, right? You can see here one, two, three, four, five, six total. Uh, sorry, we have total six elements. Okay, the first is a JSON object, second is also JSON object, third is Boolean, fourth is a string, fifth is an integer, and the last one is a double. Okay, if you go to first JSON index, okay, before that, I found to get if I want to get the uh, this one, second last. So I need to use the index. So this will be first index, second index, third index, fourth index, fifth index, and sixth index, right? 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, total 5. So index start from 0. Okay? So we can get any value using the index that I will show you when, when we light the JSON path for these uh, JSON arrays. Okay? So in this, in the first element, we have another JSON array, okay? So we can call it nested JSON array because we have one JSON array inside another JSON array, right? So JSON array and JSON objects are not big deal. They are just provides a way to store the data, okay? How you want to store data, you can store, okay? So I hope this would be good for you. And uh, uh, in the next video, I will go and try to explain how can we write the JSON path for this type of JSON array and nested JSON array. And in the next video, okay, after that, in that I will combine both the like JSON object. Anyway, here also we have combined one, but yeah, uh, for uh, we'll take some real time example. Okay, we from Google weather and all, and I will try to write the JSON path for those. Okay, so that you'll, uh, you can also practice uh, on those examples as well. Okay, so I think this is enough for this video. We'll meet in next topic soon. Thank you, everyone. Or yes, of course, if you have any doubt, any confusion, any feedback session, you can always comment on my video. Thank you, everyone.